Welcome to my new calculus channel and I'm going to be sharing something really big with you today. Uh, it's historic. It's monumental. Let's begin. So if you recall I talked to you in another video about fixing your broken mainstream calculus using this geometric identity and I explained to you over here why it's so important. Um, there's one formula and you can calculate the derivative at any point for any function given only only the value of x and the function itself and this here is the beautiful formula that you obtain and it's valid for any function okay and it's once you simply obtain this value f2 which happens to be the length of this line here and this is the uh, tangent line and this is the, the secant line then you're able to find the slope of the sec of the tangent line at any point which is a derivative and I don't have the energy to go through all the details but you can read this document to which I'll provide a link <sighs> please become a subscriber to my new Bitchu channel and also tell your friends um, I will not be uploading videos to YouTube for too much longer and I would like you all to switch over to my BitTube channel so become a subscriber please so that you don't miss out um, in any case this knowledge as I said is historic and I'm going to show you very quickly how it works in an applet and then I'll give you the links to it okay so now uh, all you have to do is provide the function and any value of h really will do so for example if x is equal to 1 and the function is x squared then the derivative as 2 is 2 isn't it it doesn't really matter so of course it doesn't matter what h you have you can have even an h of 5 all right and it's still 2 yes and you can also vary the let's just decrease this again here just so that we can have more space and you can vary this point here and see that you'll always have the correct derivative okay so no matter where you are <clears throat> it doesn't matter and then likewise <clears throat> if you have let's say <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> a function like e to the x <clears throat> where is e to the x e to the x I haven't done this before, but it's the same story, really. Okay, so um, doesn't matter what the value of h is, you will get the correct expression, okay? So if we try and put f on 0, then you'll see it's 1, right? Which is true, e to the 0 is 1. Okay, and of course, um, this is due to this geometric identity that I explained to you in the document earlier and you can read all about it there and you can also reveal the formula which is given to you here this main formula is obtained from these two results here okay and of course this is a geometric identity and these are the calculations so uh, please read through this uh, document here which is very important um, this information has never been realized or published anywhere by anyone and it's huge okay I hate to use that word because Donald Trump uses it and I don't like Donald Trump so my motivation for publishing this free information is to expose the ignorance of those who have called me a crank and to get back at them um, this information is has been realized in the last two to three weeks of course the identity was realized decades ago this identity here that you see in front of you was realized many decades ago and of course in the previous video I showed you how you can use this identity to fix your broken mainstream formulation both your derivative and your integral and the ideas come from the new calculus but this is not the new calculus okay there is no infinity no infinitesimals and floor theory here also so uh, the ma main points are these there's no need to to learn limit theory or real analysis there's even no need to learn the many different types of differentiation 
tricks or, or techniques because this will work for any function and at any point. That's the beauty of it. It's also a refutation to your mainstream calculus because it's completely geometrical, doesn't have uh, any algebra, only analytical geometry, and it's a rigorous and complete uh, derivation that refutes Cauchy's ideas about not being able to define the derivative by any other means than algebra. <clears throat> so you can learn it using high school geometry and trigonometry. Trigonometry is really, is really just a specialized geometry. <clears throat> You don't have triangles unless you have circles. That's where trigonometry comes from. And if you can't see that, read my free ebook, download my free ebook called An Introduction to the Single Variable New Calculus, and it will explain all those things in there. So, this ingenious idea came to me through the research on how to produce a complete uh, geometric formulation that is rigorous. Um, the the inspiration was to produce a perpendicular from the endpoint of uh, the non-parallel secant line. So this uh, per, no, this perpendicular here would create two similar triangles. As you see, there's another one here which I haven't drawn. But if you draw a perpendicular here like that, the other similar triangle is here, right? And <clears throat> it shows you how you can use this to build up and derive the formula in a systematic way using nothing but analytic geometry. And so all you need to find the derivative is x and the function, and that's it. And you can get all these other uh, preliminaries from those bits of information. Well, uh, remember again, this is not going to continue for too much longer. I will not be uploading too many more videos on YouTube if I upload again. I know I keep saying that, but one of these days it's going to stop. I'm just doing it to to notify you to go ahead and subscribe to my new channel, which is the BitChute channel. Uh, be sure to switch over. I will not ask you again. And if you don't, you'll miss out uh, historic knowledge such as what I'm revealing to you now. If, of course, I decide <laughs> excuse me, to uh, share more secrets. Now, my unpublished book has far more beautiful information than this and far more uh, powerful knowledge that probably more advanced alien civilizations know about already. Uh, so, the new calculus obviously surpasses all this knowledge, but what this particular uh, identity does is destroy the false claims about your mainstream calculus being rigorous and and you know your whole mainstream approach which is entirely wrong mainstream academics don't even know what is a number they don't even know the basics of mathematics even the professors of mathematics are ignorant and stupid beyond belief well, this is it for this particular presentation. I'm John Gabriel. This is a new calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.